Hey y'all, it's Jasmine J with Let's Talk Business. And this season we discuss you, your brand, and then I get all up in your business. So today we have a very special guest and I will let him introduce himself. How you doing today? How y'all doing? I'm uh, Blaine Arnell, aka the CMOS man. The CMOS man. Okay, I'm ready to dive into it. So before we get into your business about CMOS and everything else, let's talk about you. Who's Blaine? Uh, naturally. Laid back, uh, holistic, uh, all natural. Uh, it's my, my product and my company, Natural Boss Organics. Mm -hmm. and, uh, stand on that. All my products I take on a daily basis and just try to stay healthy and be me. Okay. Yeah, life. Yeah, so where you from? Uh, from New Orleans, Louisiana. Oh, yeah. yeah. So you, you over here in H-Town, huh? Yeah, been here seven years, almost eight. So, I mean, so before you came down here, were you already doing like all natural? Like, have you always been that way, or was there a certain point in time you switched over to more of a holistic approach? Oh well, I had my company since 2018. I always try to, uh, you know, be on a healthy kick. I've always been an athlete, so I try not to, you know, put too much toxins and stuff in my body. So, I've always been like a natural person, and just grew and it grew into a company and. Uh, well, I've been running. Running, huh? <laughs> so I heard you say you um you're always been an athlete. Yes. So let's talk about that. What, what sport? Uh basketball. Basketball. Yeah. You was any good? Um I'm I'm decent. <laughs> you yeah. can get out there? Yeah, I could do it. Still doing it. Oh yeah, so you still playing at, yeah. and exercise and stuff yeah. like that? Yeah, well, or I'll be in a uh Brody League uh this coming uh December. So I'll still be working out and uh keeping my body healthy to go overseas. What position you play? Uh, guard and forward. Okay. Wow. I would have never knew that. So you coming down here to Houston, and what was that like? What was the the move and the transition? What was that like for you? Um, uh, it was it was it was a process, man. I've been I've been here. I've been been put out. I've been homeless. I've been everything. I've been going through the motions, and I'm here, healthy. You know, still standing. Still standing. And, Nothing can take me down. That's a word right there. Nothing can take him down. I feel you on that. So let's let's get into the business. So mm -hmm. I know what did you say the name of your company was? Uh, Natural Boss Organics. Natural Boss Organics. Mm -hmm. So how'd you come about with that name? Uh, I'm a boss naturally. I know that's right. <laughs> and uh, the organics, there's so natural boss, I'm boss naturally, and the products is organic and. That's how I came about the, the name. So it was like um, when you decided you were going to start the company, did the name come to you just like that or was it like a process? Because I know for me, when I started my first business, it took me like a week and a half. Like I knew what the business was going to mm -hmm. be and all of that, but I couldn't settle on a name. And then when it hit me, I knew that was it. But it was like a week and a half, two week process. Yeah, uh, it's it, it, it was kind of tricky. Uh, I think my first name was... Uh, C C Moss C Boss or something like that. So I just took that and just put it in natural balls and then I just came up with that. So So um when you started your business, what was that process like for you? Like did you do it all on your own? Did did you did someone help you? Like when I mean starting your business, I mean like getting it registered and everything else. Like um did you my, educate yourself? Well my, my kids mom uh helped me get my L L C and then uh from there I uh, basically did everything on my own. Yeah, e everything. Uh, so I, I just, naturally I try to do everything on my own. Uh, I'm the only child, so oh, yeah. I have no choice but to do, you know, a lot of stuff on my own. I, you know, I, I had no choice, so I'm just naturally like that. So how many um, children do you have? I have four. Four children? Yeah. Okay. So um, do they use your products? Yes, they do. All right, the sea moths down to the the pills, the soaps, everything. So, how do do you make these products, or do you have a distributor that you get the products uh, from? Oh yeah, I have a distributor, and uh, as far as the uh, sea moths goes, uh, I make the sea moths and clean and everything. I do that myself. So, tell me about some of the products you have here with us today. Uh, well, I have uh, natural teas. I have uh, shea butter, uh, black soap. I have two different types of black soaps. I have the Dusan and I have CMOS pills and I have CMOS gel. 
So educate me on the black soaps because I I mean different people say different things. Um as you know, we have a monthly market and a lot of people come and they sell different stuff. Mm-hmm. So people say different things. So tell me about what what you believe the benefits of black soap is. Um basically just like a real detoxification of your skin, you know what I'm saying? This um all natural not putting any chemicals and all this crazy stuff that they make. And, you know, the soap industries and just, you know, try to just be, like, more clean on the natural side. Does it um, dry, like, does it dry out your skin? Like, do once you use the black soap, do you have to moisturize afterwards or does it leave your skin, like, soft? Oh, yeah, it it leaves your skin, like, pretty smooth. Uh, Like I said, uh, as far as, uh, you know, using that soap versus another soap, uh, you know, as... The chemicals in it, it might dry out your skin. As far as the black soap, it don't have any chemicals, so you don't really dry out your skin too much. And as long as you, you know, stay moisturized, you was gonna do anyway. Right. So it's okay. So tell me about the teas. What are, what are they good for? Uh, the teas. I have a detox tea and I have a women's tea. I have more tea uh, on my site, but I, as far as uh, the product that I have here, it's just a de- a detox tea. Uh, was this like detox your body, detox the toxins in your blood and stuff like that. And I have the best seller women's tea. A lot of women buy that tea from me. Um, you know, for you guys, fertile parts and fly rods and stuff like that. It helps with all that type of stuff. Wow. So how did you like, well, you said you always been natural, but like, did you study? Yes. Okay. You yeah, studied all so of I this. studied like uh, Dr. CB and stuff mm-hmm. like that. Uh, and I've just been on that, that kick ever since, man. I've just been studying and um, gaining information and studying. Sharing it with your community. And trying to, yeah, try to put it out there as far as uh, people knowing about different natural products and, you know, try to get people not to put toxins in their body and Mm -hmm. stuff like that, so. And so the shea butter, I've actually purchased some shea butter from you from Mm -hmm. the market and I absolutely love the product. My mama trying to steal it. You cannot have it. Um, (laughs) But tell me about the shea butter. Do you use it or what, you know, what do people say about it? Oh yeah. I I use the shea butter as well. I just, it's just a good moisturizer for my skin that keeps it looking like I uh, went to get get a facial or something like that. So uh, it's a, it's a very good product. So one thing I heard you say as we talk about your business is you had to do a lot of things yourself and you've been through a lot. So like, what keeps you motivated? Like on those days where you say you w- were homeless and all these different things, mm-hmm. like what kept you bought into your vision? Um, I mean, I always knew that I, w- I was going to grow some type of way. Yeah. Uh, I have too many talents. You know, once you, you know, if you fall, I just learn to pick myself back up and keep on going no matter what obstacles are in the way if anybody out there um you know if you want to just come with some motivation you know from me just don't worry about anybody do what you have to do pick your business up uh pick yourself up if you're falling uh just just keep on going man is that's that's the only words that i have and is uh try to push your way out of any situation that comes in your way and keep keep going Man, those are true gems because I'm I'm in business myself and I can totally relate to that. You know, everything doesn't always go the way you want it to go. Some days you don't feel like it, but you just got to keep pressing right, forward right, right. and everything will fall in line. Yeah. And that, that what you said about don't worry about nobody else. Yeah. That's like a key gem because you you taking the energy that you could be focused on what you need to right, do, right. worried about what someone else is doing. Right, yeah, there's a lot of distractions out here. You know, they, they try to distract us, snap their finger over here, everybody look over there, snap <laughs> their finger over here. Right. So just, you know, don't focus on that stuff. Just, you know, if you, if you have a business or whatever, just stay in your lane and keep keep going. So where, how do people purchase your products now? I know you do pop-up shops and things mm-hmm. like that, but you said you have a website? Yes, ma'am. Uh, the website is naturalboss.info. So anyone want to go purchase any products, I have more products on the site, incense, uh, spiritual products. Even, even if you need a, a holistic doctor, to, uh, if you want to know things to put in your body, things that you don't want to eat, or uh, eat even like a nutrition plan, definitely... Uh, we have consultants and doctors and, you know, holistic doctors, and you can purchase that and be talking to someone on the way to good health. And 
That's amazing. Yeah. So um, when you did, when you, when did you decide to put your products online? Because I know like a lot of the small businesses we work with, they do a lot of pop up shops and sell their products, mm-hmm. but that's the only thing they do. They they they're fearful mm-hmm. of doing the online sales. Yeah. So what was that experience like for you? Um, well, as you know, as far as doing pop up shops, a lot of people they don't buy the product right then and there from me. So uh, I just came up with the idea like, okay, well, if they don't buy it then and there, um, maybe they can buy it another time. And a lot of people do. They, you, they ask for my website and be like, oh, well, if I don't get it now, and they'll go back and double back and go on the website and purchase it. So it's a, you know, it's, it's just another outlet for me to just sell my product. And um, is it in your plans to ever um, have a storefront or be in a store? Yes, I do. I, I want to open up a, like a wellness center and, you know, uh, you can come basically purchase products, uh, get facials. Uh, wellness, get your uh, body just basically healed, and I just want to have a wellness center. So I'm in. I am. It's a dream, but I am gonna have a storefront soon. I know that's yeah. right. <laughs> that's amazing. So, um, out, outside of this, I know you say you're a chef as well. So can you tell us about that? Oh yeah. Well, I am a personal chef. Uh, I do parties, weddings, weddings, catering, anything, dinner for two, uh, as well, and. Uh, that that business I've been, you know, with me uh for a long time as well. I have 13 years experience in cooking, so I've been cooking wow. since a, a little a little kid, so uh So when you go and you and you do uh chef work, do mm-hmm. what kind of food do you cook? Because I know you believe like naturally organic and the things you put in your mm-hmm. body. Do you cook with whatever the person wants or do you have like, no, I'm not making that? No, nah, no, I, I don't have no say so when it comes to my clients. Uh, it's basically whatever the client wants, I cater to the to, to, to the client. And uh, we try to do our best uh, as a company to provide any food and services that we can and try to do it the best. So what's your what's your favorite thing to cook? Not what tastes better, but what's your favorite thing to cook? For me? Yeah. Uh, me? Uh, I like uh, like fried mushrooms, oh, yeah, snap. stuff like that. Uh, I try to be vegan sometimes, but it work out. How it work out? I try to uh, do uh, basically like jackfruit and stuff like that. Oh yeah, just like meat, like meat replacements. I don't try to eat meat yeah. as much. I have a goal to become vegan or eat less meat you know yeah. but i i was just telling my cameraman because he is a true vegan like okay. yeah definitely. true vegan i had a conversation with that guy <laughs> yeah but i was telling him like i have to educate myself yeah. you know i gotta get enough information so that i can take care of myself because also um as women if you have like certain health issues or things mm-hmm. going on as a woman you got to make sure that you're giving yourself the protein and everything right, that you right. need. So there's a lot of history that goes in that. But that's a goal of mine, too. Mm-hmm. So what's your? Uh, that's your favorite thing to cook for you. But what is, like, your best dish? What do people request the most? Uh, well, I have this uh, dish. It's uh, famous probably in Louisiana, but it's called a surf and surf. So basically, like, it's a big old juicy steak under a bed of garlic mashed potatoes and asparagus uh, topped with. Jumbo shrimp and and the lobster. I'm gonna ask. I can't remember. <laughs> Gee, that, none of that sounds good to you, G. None of that sounds good. <laughs> yeah, he like it sounds good. Man, that's amazing. So, what? Um, how do you advertise your chef business? Uh, well, it just really word them out. Uh, I try to uh, put my business cards out when I'm doing a pop up shop. You know, so I try to put myself out there some type of way. And, uh, you know, even with that, the chef business is slow sometimes, mm-hmm. but, but it picks itself up. So this is the season that, you know, people are going to start booking yeah, and holidays. stuff like that. And it's, it's going up. It's yeah. going, I know that's right. <laughs> so speaking of pop-up shops, I met you through RCC Market, mm-hmm. right? So yeah. how did you even find out about CC Market? Uh, this is basically browsing the internet and doing my research and came up upon you and. 
I'm here. <laughs> I know, that's right. So what have your experience been like? I think you came to two markets so mm-hmm. far. What has your experience been like? Have you met anybody? Have you sold any products? What, what has this been like? Oh, well, oh, oh, the product set itself. I know uh, that's right. Yeah. Uh, I have met people at the CC Network, uh, different people. I even got a guy who uh, making some my custom-made soaps for, for my company. Oh, wow. Uh, so I have natural boss organic soaps coming soon uh, for you guys. And uh, I always I always meet uh, connects at the CC Network. So, you know, I, I think that's what it's made for. It definitely is. We uh, It's our way of supporting small businesses. Yeah. And we get to meet so many people, too. Yeah. So it's it's lit. Uh, what motivates you? Uh, my kids. I know. That's right. Yeah. Yep. That's, I think my biggest motivation, hands down, is my children. I have three kids. Okay. Um, so they are my biggest motivation. But also, like, I really believe in being the change. Yeah. So when you go through a lot of stuff, you just see so much going on. It's like, man, this world, like, we mm-hmm. need a lot of change. So change only starts, you, the only person you have control over mm-hmm. is yourself. So okay. change starts with self. Yeah. For sure. So now, my favorite part of the show, I like to dig into into your business. You know, um, so when you first got started, you say that your children's mother helped you get your LLC. Mm-hmm. Um, what was that like for you? Like, did you know anything about that or you just knew, like, what was that experience like? No, nah, I always knew I was going to get an LLC. Uh, I was, I knew I was going to get multiple LLCs. So that's uh, once I got my start, um, like, keep on going, like. Get more LLCs, just do do this with your business and do that. Uh, as far as like starting an LLC, uh, I have learned certain stuff to, you know, what you can do with your LLC, what mm-hmm. you can buy, business vehicles, business credit, stuff like that. I'm, and I'm still learning. I don't, I don't know everything, uh, but I know some stuff too. You know, I can make moves with it and, you know, do for my businesses for sure so when you started your llc did you uh go get a business bank account like right away or did it take time yeah it, it took time yeah, yeah it took time uh, eventually got a navy federal business account and uh in the process of getting more accounts so so when you when you did open up a business account did you see any difference from when you opened your llc and you were using your personal account from when you open the LLC and use your business account? Because uh, I, I ask that because I, I work with small um, entrepreneurs and small businesses, mm-hmm. and that's some of the first things I tell them when they want to start a business. Like, make a plan, register your business, go get a business bank account, um, make sure you are connected with someone who's going to do your taxes, mm-hmm. plan for your taxes, all this stuff ahead of time. And I tell them, sometimes when you merge your funds with your personal account, mm-hmm. you can't really see what your business is doing. Right. You know, And but when you put everything in one, when you separate the two and you put your business expenses in a business account, then you know what you're spending out and mm-hmm. how you're making your money. Right. Mm-hmm. So for you, could you see a difference or it was kind of like all the same? Uh, at first, it was all the same. And then, like you said, once you... You know, split the two, and you have your personal and you have your business. It's two totally different things. And uh, even with credit, it's your personal credit and your business credit. It's two totally different things. Yep. You can do totally different things with your business credit, and you can do totally different things with your business credit, and it's all different. It's not the same. Uh, even though uh, some companies, they do look at your personal credit. Yeah. Uh, when you have your business, because they try to see, you know, what what, what your personal status look like. What, right. You know, what's your address and stuff like that. And uh, they do look at that type of stuff. So, uh, yeah, it's two, it is two totally different things. So, um, do you have people that work with you? Like, do you have a team? Do you have partners? Or is everything, like, solo ran, solo done? Yeah. Um, yeah, my my uh my fiance helps me out uh with my natural product business uh e- even with my chef business sometimes but mostly uh I do have a team but I can manage if I can manage to do it by myself I I, I would do it. Um so what are your future goals? Like where do you see let's just talk about this particular business. Mm-hmm. Where do you see this business in 3 years? Uh like you like you said uh, up and running storefront uh, you know, you know where people can go in and purchase products. Uh, I see it being a multi-million dollar business. Hey, shout out to that. 
everything. Can't look back. So what are some of your plans? Like, do you have any, what are some of your plans you have in place um, to get you there those in three years? Um, this, basically just grinding, just grinding it out. Just, keep, you know, just keep on going. Uh, try to get my, the name, you know, big as big as I can and, uh, you know, just, <laughs> just putting just it out it there. Happen. Yeah. I understand. <laughs> so has your family, uh, been supportive because I always like to ask entrepreneurs that um, because it gets tough, right? Mm-hmm. Like, and everybody doesn't have a supportive system and a supportive family. Um, I'm blessed to have that, mm-hmm. but in times when they don't, in times sometimes I feel like I don't have that. Right, you know, right. in reality I do. But what is it like for you? Like, is your family behind you 100 percent, or they feel like you should be doing something else by now? Or no, uh, nah, my my family. Pretty much, uh, some of them, you know, help me. Uh, some of them purchase products, but as far as like family, uh, nah, man, I don't really have a lot of support. Even with friends, like family and friends. Yeah, like, I was gonna ask you about a lot of people. Next. They don't, they don't really support you. You know, if they're your friend, they'll be like, oh, you know, congratulations. Or they'll tell you this, but they probably won't purchase nothing from you. They probably won't buy nothing, but they'll probably you know always look and stuff like that and see what you're doing, but. As far I as I support, that's being nosy. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, you know, as far as like I said, man, it, it takes a stranger to buy something from yep. you. It takes a tr- stranger to support you, to believe in you. And it, that's what I stride off. Yeah. The strangers. I don't stride off the 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 personal family and the friends. I don't. Yeah, I tell people all the time, like, you make when you have a product or a business, like you have a target audience. Like you're yeah. making this product for a certain mm-hmm group of people and majority of the time they're not your friends and family or people that you know so you can't like you know get down on yourself when you don't feel that support Mm -hmm. or things like that and then it it all matters like how you define support so how do you define support uh buying your product uh no basically uh the connections yeah Yeah, i i I go off this of the connections if i can make a connection or have a conversation with a person then basically we're, we're locked in yeah. And uh, it, you don't have to buy a product. You don't have to do anything for me. But as long as you, even if you just follow my Instagram, you, I, I see you a supporter. Yeah. Uh, you know, you're behind me or you're trying, you're interested, you're inter- interested in what I have or uh, a product or something like that. So. Yeah. You know, for me, I think initially support was like, okay, you're not coming by the studio, you know, or you have a business, you're not shooting your content here. Mm-hmm. But then at the end of the day, I'm like, support is so much more than that. Mm-hmm. So, like, if if you're telling other people about CC Network or you know somebody that has a business, he's like, oh, you should go over there to CC Network. Mm-hmm. Like, that's support, too. And right. once I start looking at it from that perspective, I, I realize I do have a lot of support. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So, um, before we wrap it up, I always like to give, and you kind of did this earlier, but I'm going to give you another chance. I always like to give you the opportunity to talk to the audience and share encouragement words or anything. If it's anyone else out there that wants to start their own business selling products or, or doing uh, catering, mm-hmm. what, would your, what would your encouragement be to them? Um, well, first of all, like we just talked about, don't, don't, don't look for support in your, in your friends and family. Don't look, look try to... Uh, have a complete conversation with a stranger or uh, somebody who uh, don't even know know, know of you, uh, somebody who don't even know that you exist, and just keep on going and stride off of that. And if that person give you conversation, you, you know, like I say, even though uh, they might not support you right then and there, they eventually support you down the line. And just, you know, go off of that. Use that fuel to the fire and keep on going. And like I said, don't don't let don't let nothing stop you. Uh, even if you don't feel like you have support from your friends and friend, uh, family, because uh, you know sometimes I feel like that as well. Like I don't feel like I have that support coming from, you know, my 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 family and you know where they su- want to support me. Yeah. But it don't matter because there's a million millions of people that don't world. know you. Yeah. So try to get to those people and. Don't worry about the people that do know you. So that I will say that. Well, there you have it. 
So I want to thank everyone again for joining in to Let's Talk Business. Oh, before I wrap it up, where can I find you? Uh, you can find me at natural underscore boss underscore organics on Instagram. Uh, also, City Chef, that's uh, C I T Y C H E F 2.0 on Instagram as well. And you can find me there. And I, also, my other uh, Twitter and uh, TikToks and stuff uh, is on there, those handlers. So if you can find me on Instagram, you can find me everywhere else. All right. And there you have it. Um, I've used this product. I've purchased this product. It's wonderful. I'm, I am an advocate for it. Um, and I want to thank you again for coming on the podcast it. and thank you. having this conversation with me. Um, so, y'all, there we have it. Let's Talk Business, where we talked about Blaine, his brand, and his business. So, y'all can check us out every Tuesday on every podcast platform. See you next time.